What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Bianca Shanice, and I'm here with a new video. If you're new here, hello. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Also, please don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when I put up new videos. Because how is y'all going to see me? Hmm. Today's video, I'll be doing the top 10 serial killers in the world. And if it is something that you would like to see, please stay tuned and keep on watching. What's up, y'all? So first things first, as y'all can see, I'm doing my video a little different this time. I'm doing like a mukbang. Um, I have some crab legs and I have some mayonnaise and mustard dip. Um, I have a Mountain Dew and I'm just gonna pour it in a little glass. What's up, y'all? How have y'all been? Well, yeah, like I said, today's video, I'll be doing um, the top 10 serial killers. These are the top 10 that I picked. It was others, but I just picked the top 10 that I felt like was most interesting to me. So, I'm going to eat a little bit first, and then we're going to jump into the video. So, I guess I can do me a thumbnail. y'all i apologize for that right there that's my light but <clears throat> i just try to get the mood going with this little background so yeah as y'all can see i'm doing vlogtober um i got a whole bunch of like different type of um topics blogs and other you know things to come What's been going on, you guys? <clears throat> I made my own seasoning and my mayo mustard dip a little spicy. I just um I just got finished uploading a video. It's a vlog. It's kind of short, but I really didn't have too much going on this week. As y'all remember, um I had took Zari um to the zoo um I took Zari to the zoo on Sunday. And, um, yeah, we really enjoyed ourselves. It was really nice. It was really nice. But I'm going to go ahead and start the video with this, talking about the serial killers. And then, and then if I have still some more food left, if I get finished with the video, we can chit chat about something else. So the first serial killer I'll be talking about is Theodore Bundy, also known as Ted Bundy, which you, which you all may have heard about already. And if you haven't, I'm about to inform you. If you already have, just enjoy, just enjoy the video, or you can just be here to watch me eat, okay? <laughs> but yes, Theodore Bundy, also known as Ted Bundy, he has killed 36 women. <sighs> y'all, 36 women. He killed 36 women. So I gotta eat as I'm talking about it. <clears throat> he was like handsome, well educated. And he decides that he's gonna travel from state to state and go on a killing spree. He also had like a chap. Mm. He also had like a a tough childhood, and it really like took a toll on him as he, you know, was growing up, and also as he got, you know, older. 
and it was said that that may have triggered his psychopathic behavior. <clears throat> he also started his killings in 1974 in Seattle. One of his tactics that he would do to like um, reel women in, well, one of his tactics that he would do to like lure women in was acting like he was somebody who needed like help and stuff and then he'll like make his move. I want to say he killed him. I want to say he killed him first and then raped him or he raped him then killed him. But I think it's he killed him first and then raped him. This information that I'm bringing to y'all is public knowledge. You can find this information, you know, on the web. So if I'm, if you're not sure, or you feel like I'm not sure about my information, feel free to check behind me. This is what all other people I be talking about. Ted Bundy. He graduated from a new he graduated from a university of Washington and moved to Utah. Later Ted Bundy moved to California to continue his killing spree. So y'all, this man was like like on a rampage, like his last victim was a twelve year old girl. He drowned her, y'all, and he raped her. Like he didn't care who Anybody was, nobody was off limits to him. And that's just sad. Like, that was just sad. He was arrested for suspicion of burglary. Where he was charged with rape and murder. And he was also sentenced to death. So on January 24th, 1989, he was executed in the electric chair in Florida State Prison. So they didn't have no mercy on him. Y'all, he killed 36 women, children, well, little girls. Well, I think it's one little girl. Ooh. How scared those women was even down to that little girl that was just so tragic serial killer we'll be talking about is John Wayne Gacy also known as the killer clown yeah that's crazy I'm assuming that's where these killer clown movies stem from is this man here? Azar, I'm recording. So John Wayne Gacy, killer clown, was a sex offender and a serial killer who regularly performed at children's parties, also hospitals. And he was performing as a um, I about to say a killer clown. <laughs> he was also performing as a clown was also known as Poco the Clown or Patches the Clown. It got to the point where he just would lure young boys and just kidnap them. So in 1978, Gary also started getting noticed by the police when a 15 year old when a 15 year old boy goes missing <clears throat> and he was last seen with Gary. It gets crazy after this. The police end up raiding his home. Y'all guess what they found? Guess what they found y'all? They found 29 decomposing bodies. 29 decomposing bodies of children 
of young children, y'all. He was convicted of <clears throat> he was he was convicted of thirty three murders and later sentenced to death. He was executed and sentenced to death. I just couldn't imagine what those um what a lot of those parents was going through during that time. Like knowing that your child is missing. And you are being trusted to people and they go and do, you know, seek mess like that. Like, that's just not okay. And y'all, we, we have people <coughs> like that, like that in the world today. That's why we have to really, like, keep an eye out on our children. Like, even me, I have to keep... An eye on my own self, you know, because some of these people, they don't discriminate, you know. We don't know what they're going through these people here. So the next serial killer I'll be talking about is Ed Green. Is Ed Green or Ed Jean? I think it's Ed Jean. I'll put the correct name at the bottom of the screen. Ed Jean was his crimes is what started a lot of movies that are played today or been made from like Psycho, like Psycho, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Silence of the Lamb. When I was reading up on like when he said Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I was like, Lord, he probably was taking people's skin and making stuff with it. And that's what actually was going on. He grew up in a toxic household where his alcoholic father abused him. And over the course of the years, his family died one by one. His mother had some, some issues too. She instilled in him hatred towards women and sex. And, um, <clears throat> and I really feel like he like value his mother and probably wanted to make her happy. But after, <clears throat> but after she died, that's when his killing spree started. But then he would go out to local bars and pick women, bring them home. And kill him. It was to the point where he would dismember his victims and use them for like household items. Household items, y'all. Like, how you gonna make? How you gonna make household? How you gonna make household items out of people like a vest, cups? Utensils. I just know it was stinking in there. Woo. <gasps> so, <clears throat> in 1957, he was caught by the police when a hardware store owner, owner goes missing. And they was last seen with him. He was um, convicted of 11 murders. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia. So with that being said, he spent, he spent the rest of his life in a mental institution until he died. And I, he ended up dying in 1984. I'm just still shook over him dismembering his victims and using them as and using them as household items.
Mm -hmm. So the next serial killer we'll be talking about is Gary Ridgeway. I'm pretty sure y'all may heard of Gary Ridgeway. Well, I'm pretty sure you hear about all these um killers. But Gary Ridgeway, I really remember about his case, about his story when I was younger because you know, I grew up watching Lifetime and I remember and I remember playing the Green River Killer on Lifetime. And so that's basically what so that's basically what they're talking about is Gary Ridgeway. He's also known as the Green River Killer. And he has killed a lot of women. So Gary was initially convicted of 48 separate murders as a plea bargain. As part of his plea bargain. Then another conviction was added and it made it 49. And that, and that pushed him to be the second most prolific serial killer. The most prolific serial killer in the United States. But he killed so many girls in the 80s and 90s with the press. Where well, the press gave him his nickname. And his first five victims was found in the Green River. Before his identity was like even known, he liked to strangle his victims by hand sometimes. Then he would dump their bodies in for forested areas. Yeah, I'm really think I'm gonna have to do two parts of this because I'm already an hour in recording. <laughs> so I'm gonna do five here today, and then the next time I upload. This a video like this. I do the following five. I guess it's taking a little bit longer than I expected because I'm eating. Um, the Green River Curl, I'm going to do one more. And then we're going to have to resume this in another video. Another creepy thing. He will return to the victims and have sexual intercourse with them. Mm. So in November 2001... He was arrested for the murders. Arrested for the murders of four women. I'm just getting crab juice everywhere. Who cases was um, linked to him through um, DNA. So as part of a plea bargain, he, um, he agreed to disclose um, the location of the missing, the other missing women. He, at that point, he was spared the death penalty and spent the rest of his life in prison. In prison. Prison without parole. That's crazy, y'all. I really like... I remember when that came on TV. I really do. The Green River Killer. Mm, that came out good. He's Richard Ramirez, also known as the Night Stalker. Y'all, I really... I don't really care for these parts like that. I don't like um cracking them. So that's why I always eat them last, if I even eat them. So Richard Ramirez, he basically terrorized LA from the from the mid from 1984 to the mid of 1985. He was notorious for breaking into people homes in Los Angeles and murdering them. He would murder them with all kinds of weapons, handguns, knives, or even like a doggone tire iron. So one of his first victims was a nine-year-old girl. He raped her, he beat her, and you know, he murdered her. It was known, it was said that his childhood was basically what influence a lot of what he did like, y'all how did I forget about this piece of meat here mm. 
His father was a heavy drinker, which resulted in him being physically abused. So in 1989, he was convicted of 13 counts of murder, five, five attempted murders, 11 sexual assaults, and 14 burglaries. Y'all, he even stayed in that hotel Cecil. Cecil, Cecil Hotel or something like that that's in LA, that's on Skid Row. He stayed in that hotel, y'all. Mm -hmm. that, that, um, it's a um, documentary on Netflix that talk about so much stuff that going in that hotel. I could just imagine all them people who had uh, stayed there, them spirits and stuff that's in there. But yeah, that's a whole nother story topic. And then he never showed any remorse to any of the crimes he committed. In 2013, on June the 7th, of complications, <clears throat> I think it's called B cell lymphoma, lymphoma, <clears throat> like feeling bad at any point, like when he was like on his his last day probably not he spent 24 years on death row before he died in prison from cancer b cell lymphoma is like a certain type of cancer i'm assuming so he 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 actually stayed on the 14th floor of the Cecil Hotel. That's the name of the hotel. The Cecil Hotel. But y'all that was crazy. When I was reading up on all these serial killers, I was like, woo chill. Mm. I'd be interested in like stuff like this because you just don't know what people be actually going through or be doing in this world like what in the world and i have heard about these people and these crimes but like i really didn't like research and get like a full understanding of everything that they have done or have did um and it's just sickening and it's just tragic but yeah y'all that this i think i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and end this video here i'm gonna finish eating this because it done got like a little cold so i gotta go ahead and eat it because this was really good and then my dip is about my dip is gone just about so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on anything i have said please feel free to comment also also please don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when i put up new videos because i hope y'all gonna see me hmm? disclaimer if y'all hear my daughter in the background i do apologize because she's in a room watching tv and i've been telling her to like be quiet because i'm recording but if y'all hear her in the back singing or talking or laughing it's because she is in there watching tv and having her whole show my, i'm gonna also talk about my next top five in the next video that i upload of this um so please stay tuned for that but i will see you guys in another video goodbye